All right, Knights of Apollo, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today is the day we finish the village, well, at least mostly. We're going to try to finish, finish the church today. Uh, it does cost a little bit of money, but the cash flow is very nice. I mean, honestly, what we could do is just chill out here. We could hang out. Um, so, for example, it's 6K, right? Oops, excuse me. 6K currently in the chest right now. So, what we could do is just sit down here and well wait so if we just wait um i mean it's not nah that's lame you know what that's lame we're not gonna do that let's go fight something so we do have some bandits we can go for way over here i guess we'll do that sell the loot and then come back and we should have enough to uh fix the um church it's eleven thousand. it's pretty expensive but let's just get going and we'll get some experience and hopefully win some battles it's very tough this brigand battle type stuff it is extremely tough uh oh here we go we got a fight here humans humans okay dude i get relieved when i see humans now <laughs> I get relieved. Come here. You're dead. Already one dead. God, humans are easy compared to the brigands. Oh, Mike, get him. Alright. Is this the last one? Oh, nice. We leveled up. Nice. Vitality leveled up. Thank you, humans. I appreciate it. Oh, hey. Rude. All right. Well, this is definitely going to give me some money. Yeah, 41. Get the helmet here. To reinforce human bow thank you so much and we'll take your weapons as well bless and then we got oh yeah a thousand uh if we keep having interactions like this we won't have to fight those bandits i mean literally any chance i can get where i don't have to fight them is the best take the sword here all right, and we'll take this, 66 Groshen. And we'll take everything that's worth uh, at least like 300, 200 or up. We'll take the bandages. All right, well done, guys. Oh, wait, there's another cumin over here. Yeah, we killed so many. Ooh, 71? Sweet. I still think we should go. There's another bow. I still think we should go for those bandits, though. Um... Nothing we can level up there, so. No, don't wear that. I'm gonna get rid of that. Put in the horse's inventory. Just kind of clear up some space so we don't got too much. Yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff here. Ah, I like it. I still don't think it's enough for the church. I mean, it might be, actually. You know what? That might be enough stuff. Because by the time we get down here, it'll be another day. Seven. Yeah, I think that'll be enough to upgrade the church. So, you know what? We'll pass on going after here. We will eventually. It's good to save these for when we, we, we need money, I guess. We won't really need money once we build the church, huh? We'll always come back to that, though. We should finish that. Um. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's make our way over to... Teresa, because I'm sure by the time we get to Teresa, it'll be close to night. So, and who knows, we may be attacked again, which is always uh, promising, and we could always uh, get more loot and make more money. All right, wow, we we got here way faster than I thought, so we don't have to go to sleep. We can go to um, we can go to the market area and just sell our stuff. So we'll do that now. So what I'm going to do is just sell all the loot I have I don't need, sharpen all the swords, and then sell those as well and just see how much money we can get here. And then um, I'll show you how much we have and then we'll head back up to uh, 
this, the village that we're rebuilding and uh, improve the church because it should be, we should have enough at that point. All right, so we have sold everything in terms of armor and some swords as well. Uh, 3.7K, uh, we'll have 4K plus the money in the chest. That should be enough to build the church. This dude has 31K from all the stuff we've been selling him and all the stuff he's been, I guess, selling. So, um, yeah, we'll take the money. And I think our reputation with him is really good. Um, the next thing we'll do, we have a bunch of bows and arrows. So we can go to the huntsman and sell the bows as well. Because we haven't been doing that. Come on, Pebbles, get out of there. Alright, well, we got our money up to 5k. And once again, we're on the road again. And we will uh, go back to the village. Alright guys, we made it back once again to the village. Put the torch up here. So people aren't freaking out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're probably gonna go up here and just sleep. Maybe get some food. Uh, but yeah, this is this should be enough. Should be enough. We got 4K on us. I think the chest will have. Let's check it. 6K. That's not enough. But I think maybe if we sleep and wake up, there'll be more in it. Maybe it hasn't been a day. So let's definitely sleep and we will rise in the morning. All right, it is morning time. And we don't actually get hungrier because we have that perk where if we stay still, we don't really get hungry, I think. I think that's the reason. So let's see what it's at now. Eight, perfect. So let's put in our money. Oh, we have 5K actually, oh. Well, we'll keep four for ourselves, or a thousand for ourselves, I mean. All right, and let's build the first, um, the repairs. So we should be able to do it. So here we go. There's work to be done. There's work to be done. Get up. Let's go. Let's repair the church. This is going to be epic. I can't wait to do this. That shouldn't take too long. Come along with me and we'll take a look at the site. 11,000 gold about to be spent right here. We're going to build here? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check it. Hmm. All good. Dark construction. Hey, hey, not bad. It's functional now. Nice, that's where I killed that guy. <laughs> I can't wait to see the upgrade version. That's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, it's been repaired. How about that? Wow. Is that mission accomplished? I don't think so. Renew the church. Ah, we still have to renew the church. Okay, so that means we are going to have to save up. And I wonder how much we got in here. 1.2K? What? I thought it's been a few days. Has it not been a few days? Hmm. Well, we are going to need to... We're going to have to get 17,000, which is really not that much more, uh, considering how quickly we can get it. Um, but you know what, guys? I think we have... I think I, I'm getting a little bored, I guess, of like just going out and fighting bandits. I think I want to go back to the main story and just over time we'll get enough money and then we'll come back and finish the church. I think that's the best way of going out, uh, going about it. So let's actually go back to Mehiyad and um, do this quest and see where it takes us. Just because, again, I am so tired of just fighting bandits. I want to do a little bit of a quest, you know, more than just gaining money. It's it's a grind. Let's avoid this. Um, but yeah, we'll go back to Mehiyed. We'll see how if we if we cured the people. If you guys even remember that, that was so long ago. All right, we're in town, and we should also, while we're here, probably uh, let's deactivate that one. Let's do this one. So we need to talk to the 
the captive, which he's over here, right? No, no, no. He's up here. You feeling better? Welcome. Welcome back to the land of the living. It worked, guys. Who are you? Check on Bandit. My name is Henry, and I'm investigating on- My armor needs major maintenance. Oh, I see. You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's wise. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate Executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> the chief, who is he? Who's the chief? The bandit leader. Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. He's a foreigner? So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging by how he looks? More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la-di-da like a lord. Hmm. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. See, this chief is in charge of everything? So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Pribislav, it's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord, and common footpads who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. You know what I mean? I suppose so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, how did you know about Prib... Why can I never... I never get this name how right. How did you know about Pribislavitz? Prib... 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 Prib, Prib, Prib I can't do it. Morgoth. I can't do it. We met near Kuttenberg. I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking, and he told me about Pribislavitz. Why did you attack Merhoyed? Why did you attack Merhoyed? Merhoyed. The chief himself gave us the order. Uh, I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Pribislavitz was only the start. Okay. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Of course I did. I brought those Groshen to Pribislavitz, along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. We mm. used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. So Menhart's waiting there? Might be. Might not. He could have heard what happened in Pribus Lovitz and decided not to show. Okay, does the merchant know where the money... Uh, yeah. And does this Menhart know where Menhart. the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. I deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. 
All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Hmm. Who else knows about the money? Who else knows about the money? Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt, and me, there was a few others. The men got some real money, too, with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. Hmm. What else did they bring to the camp? You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. This time I was taking an answer back to Menhart, too. Have you still got that letter? Aye. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence, apparently. Give it to me, then. I'd be delighted. What were the letters about? If I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted to carry letters, would I? I took them from Menhart to the chief and back. That's all. Okay. So I can read. That's all I need to know, friend. Oh, speech went up. You know what that means? Ow. We can Come read. On, Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I've already told you everything I know. He cooperated. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Step back from that Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Calm down, Straw. He won't escape justice. After all, he's... Don't stand in my way, Malikar! Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Yeah, just kill him. Do what you want with him. I'm done here. That's a quick death, right? You eat it. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, huh, guys? Pretty funny. I can't hear you very well. What are you trying to say? <laughs> My boy, who you killed? Crazy. He's on his bum. Happy lad. I'm sorry. He was oh, he's torturing him. I thought it'd be quick. Hey, make it quick in there, buddy. I promised him a quick death. Is it? All right. Well, he's a piece of garbage, anyways. I didn't really stay to my word, did I? All right. What do we need to go to now? Okay. Uh, we got to go report to Sir Radzig to the lookout point at Townburg. Oh, there's also a DLC quest over there. But before we do that, I think we um. We need to go discuss someone about the pestilence, the disease. Because I'm pretty sure we cured them because the prisoner survived. Yeah, I, I think Sir Radzik's going to be mad at me for letting him uh, get chopped up like that. But you know what? Whatever. Uh... We found out what could be the cause of the Yeah, affection. we already know this, Henry. You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good Lord, that's difficult to believe. I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young Straw. The fucking bastards! Uh, how are you doing? How's it looking, Malakar? I'm glad to see you, Henry. I'd like to thank you again. Everyone is... Yes! It's nothing short of a miracle. Oh, that's a relief. You've suffered enough. We've all suffered enough. God's truth. You know, the folk here are truly grateful. They'd have you and Nicodemus canonized if they could. They brought me gifts for the two of you. I wasn't keen on the idea at first. We're not left with much since the livestock died. But since you're here... Oh, what do we get? I don't know what we got. Here, you you keep you keep it. No, no, I can't possibly accept that. Give it all back, Melikar, with my thanks. 
That's kind of you. I'm glad you appreciate our situation. Things are tough, all right. I understand. I'm See, I am merciful and kind to those so who are merciful and kind. So am I. Take care now. Now, when it comes to murderers, nah, nah. You don't get my sympathy. All right, well, that's mission accomplished. We saved the day, guys. Isn't that fun? All right, so we need to now go over here and talk to Sir Radzig. He's going to be mad at us, but whatever. He can deal with it. Why did you let him die? We needed to interrogate him. Oh, but I know everything, you know? He told me everything. I don't think he was lying. I feel kind of bad. I guess in my head I was like, oh, he'll kill him really quick. But he's legit torturing him. You know? I don't know. I think if I could go back, I would have changed what I decided to do there. All right, and here we are. Ragzig, my boy. Where are you? Come here, buddy. Talk to me. Greetings. What business have you? All right. About the dangers on the road? I'm really curious what this is. What D well, I don't know what DLC this is. Let's just see. Sir, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. Well, I thought since we chased the bandits out of Privis Slavitz, the roads would be safer. Ah, criticizing your liege lord, are you? And what, in your opinion, should he do about it? Oh no, I don't mean anything by it. Just that it surprises me. <laughs> Easy, lad. I'm only pulling your leg. You're quite right. The roads really aren't safe. Mostly due to one thing. My garrison is a shamble these days. I lost most of my men in Skalitz, and what I'm left with after Privislavitz is hardly enough even to guard Pigstein. Let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. I simply don't have the men. Uh-huh. I understand. That is, I didn't have the men. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more... respectable band? You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. But actually my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature. You see, Kuno owes me a favor, so he'll serve me free of charge. So, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. I told Kuno I'd send him a guide, but really what I need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men. Someone reliable, and I'd say you fit the part. Go cool. and report to him at his encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too disorderly. That sounds fun. All right, I'll go and report to him. Excellent. He set up camp between Ratai and Ledechko. It's a good base for covering the province. Good luck, Henry. And watch out for yourself. I will, sir. Thanks. God be with you. Okay, but... We're, we're not... We're not done here, right? So it's... Down here, right? Okay. I assume we can do that later. I don't, I, like, I hope that's not timed. Let's see. Um, events in from Mehoyed, sir. Mehoyed. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. I it cured it. Doing looked promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? I managed to question him just before the villagers came to take revenge. And one of the farmers lost his son during the raid and they wanted blood. What? Taking the law into their own hands? That's insurrection. I tried to stop them. It was futile. 
I tried to stop them, but it was just me against an angry mob. I understand. But the villagers decided to take justice into their own hands despite your appeals. That's not good. Anyway, that's not important now. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't backfire. He was transporting the false coins to Privis Lavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Good luck, man. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. It's a good advice. It's... I never thought about it that way. Well, just Obstacle look at the pampered the ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Good luck, son. Oh! You guys get that? You guys catch that? Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bing, boom. There it is. I'm gonna say 375 groschen. All right, so got a couple things we can do. Um, go to the place where the counterfeit money is handed over. I guess we'll kind of wait on this. Um, we'll keep doing the counterfeit thing. So, um, let's go ahead and do that because we still have a good amount of time. So let's, yeah, we'll just ride over now. Yeah. I don't know if this is the fastest way to get there, but. We will certainly get there. All right, here we are. Bloody mess. We made it. Um, let me go ahead and praise Mud. It's been a while since we've given him attention. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Praise. There's a good doggy. There's a good doggy. That's my boy. Okay. So we got to figure out what the heck happened here. Um, so guard was... Oh, we can't lockpick this. Nice. Looks like the guards were attacked and their clothes taken. Was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. I'm on the right track. This way. Okay. Blood here. Looks like blood. Um, does it go? It, I guess it keeps going down the road. Yep. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Blood. More blood. It leads over here. It, the blood went away. Oh, we're hungry. Yeah, well, good thing there's some food here. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. 
Yes. Oh. Excuse me. I am at your service. What happened at the crossroads? Huh? Uh, let's do... Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Who is this Boya? Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. Good luck to you. Okay, so he wears a red cap. Looking for someone who wears a red cap. He must be sleeping or something. Let's check over here. Man, I really need to improve my armor. Like, fix it up. It's pretty dirty. Well, let's get some practice in, guys. Here we go. It's like, who unlocked it and didn't take anything? <laughs> There's another one. Might as well. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so easy experience there. I don't see this guy. There's literally just one guy. Let's see how big this area is. Oh, I see. It goes down into... Oh, I see. Okay, there's... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There, it, it continues down this way. There's even a little marker showing where this guy is. Alright, come on. There he is, red cap. Excuse me. I'm at your service. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Liar. I'm so sick of these yes. charcoal burners. Is that a problem? Yeah, uh, I'm about to make it a problem. You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happened. I'll be glad to hear you out. Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Who ambushed the Who wagons? Ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Did he say anything? Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. I want to talk Where to is him. He? We've locked him away in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right. All right. <laughs> Just calm down. Here. Take the key. Thanks. Thanks. Good luck to you. All right, he's in the shed. I assume this shed. Hey, how's it going? Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Do as I say, and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Just answer my questions, and I might even help you. Well, if you say so. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Who ambushed that wagon? Henry's been there before. Right. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. 
Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked men hot that. <coughs> Tell me more about the night. Tell me more about the night. What's going on here? Where's the coin? What? what Where's coin? the coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. Let's start. Ah! Oof, that would hurt like hell with those gauntlets. Sucks. They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. I go awesome, man. Little knight on knight action. Stop right there! <laughs> Pebbles in a situation here. We have a mysterious knight on the run. And I feel like we're going the wrong way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, I think he's gonna get away. Oh no, he's over there. Where's my freaking horse? Yeah. Bandits? The hell? Not right now. Chasing someone. There we go. There's the road. What do you know? Come here. Sick him, boy. Not outrunning pebbles, damn you. Actually, he probably will. Can you catch him, or is he just automatically faster than you? I wouldn't be surprised if he's just faster than you. Alright, we're gonna slow down here a little bit. Let Pebbles catch his breath. Let's go. We're closing in, we're closing in. Ah! Oh, yeah, I think he just automatically is faster than you. The Mysterious Knight. We're near Scallets. I feel like I'm playing GTA, but I'm the cop. Jeez, he just took off. Hopefully we don't lose him here. Yeah. What? Where did he go? He disappeared. Oh crap. Alright, we're catching up to him. Come on, German knight. I think he's gonna take me to a spot. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come on, you're not get. Oh God, he, he just zooms by when he wants to. Oh, he's getting stuck on the bridge. Oh, I almost missed the bridge. God dang, dude. Where are we going to China? It is cool to see the nature, though. It's way up there. Do you see a knight? Yeah. There's an accident yeah. over here. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as he goes back to the Sasawi. What? We missed him? How? <clears throat> That's. Oh, he's right. Is that him? That's him right there. That's him right there. Come on. I don't get that, dude. We were like right there with him. Well, this is awkward. Hey. Yeah. We're okay, game. Well, I guess there's no point in chasing him. And. All right, we'll just fast travel to Sasau. All that running for nothing. That was kind of bullcrap. Can we, please? I just want to fast travel. Thank you. God. All right, dude. I'm happy to see you again, sir. Hmm, likewise. No doubt you have many questions. I certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. No. You'll say what you have to say right here. By unhiling. You are a brave one. But if you want to know anything, come to the pond after sunset. All right. After sunset, huh? Come here, mutt. Good fella. That's my boy. Good fella. All right, so I guess we have to wait until after sunset. So what we can do is sit on the bed and read a book until then. Yes. It's finally about time we can read a book. I think it's this one. No. Which one is it? Marathon? I think it's Marathon. No, just kidding. Which one is it? I know we can read one. Right? Speech after level 10. I thought our speech is level 10. Oh, minus one buff. Wait, why is it minus one? I guess because of what is it? What is hurting us? Brute. I guess it's brute. Yeah. So maybe we technically have a nine. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's sleep. <sighs> Get some, take a little power nap. And I'm gonna get up like right on the other side of right there. You should be in this pond area. All right, let's get up. 
Dude, I'm so mad. I wanted to read that book and improve our speech. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy though, like, once we kind of lose track of, uh, you know, our, our village, and we go back after a few weeks, it's gonna be full of cash. Of sweet, sweet cash. Wait, where do we need to go? Hopefully we don't have to fight them in the dark, because I don't really want to do that. Where are you? There you are. So here I am. I brought you here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I'm very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. Wait! You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But Let's see if I can talk my way out of this. You were lucky at our first encounter. You had a good horse at hand. But now I see you for what you are. You're old and slow. There is speed and... Oh. One grows his age as the other decreases. I will take my chances. Alright, we're gonna have to fight him in the dark, guys, because I... Won't be able to do... Oh, he's bleeding already. Dude, what? This guy sucks. Oh. He's done, dude. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who is that, Tyve? It seems I have finally met my match. I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. Jesus. It's true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon so that we may talk eye to eye. If we do indeed have a common cause. Stand up. It is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things. But there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. What man was that? Mainhart, the merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. Who do you mean? Master Tobias Pfeiffer, if you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. 
In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Huh? There you go. Um. Shouldn't you go with me to try to improve our speech by no. talking with all the I'm dialogue options? Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tight. What's your name, anyway? Where do you ask him? You. I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich. It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true. I have a horse, armor, a sword, and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days. As I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. All right then, Ulrich. Let's leave it at that. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know, but this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. <laughs> Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Passau? It's a German city, right? Correct. A city of great wealth, where there are many merchants. Passau is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the puzzle of the man, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know. Oh, I already asked him that. this does not mean I am... That sounds a bit fishy. It is simply that my master does not wish to be revealed. And if we are... And what about that wagon? What happened there? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had reason to suspect the connection with Sassau. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin, Groschen, foreigns, francs, and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passau scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Hmm. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek, I cannot guess why he came here. But it was the perfect opportunity to strike. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhard, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him. Unfortunately not. Hmm. What happened to Manhart? Oh. He is dead, of course. I know, but what did he do with his body? I buried it. He was a bastard. But I am not one to leave Christian remains rotting in the woods. I see. And where's his grave? He ran from the wagon uphill along the path to the north. Along the way there is an old ruined cabin. I buried him behind it, and don't think I don't know why you ask. Robbing graves is shameful. That's not it at all. If you say so. What happened to Manhart? 
He is dead. I know, but what did he do? Um, I bet. We'll see. He ran and the That's not it. If you. Sorry. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoner's Inn. All right, there we go. And the game saved. So we are done here, guys. That's going to be the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. This was a lot of fun. And I'll see you in the next one.